Michael Kretschmer is a man in a hurry. He's been leading Saxony for the past five years. He's now in a race to persuade voters to give him another five. His is a deeply conservative state, perhaps more so than anywhere else in Germany. So, on a summer day in Bautzen, his message is clear. Saxony is a strong state. If we get a reasonable government, we can deal with all the challenges we face. Better than almost any other state in Germany. And people will see that we have the courage and the strength to say things as they are. I want the free state of Saxony to carry on in its Saxon way. The challenge for Michael Kretschmer is not persuading the party faithful here in Bautzen. It's persuading people around this state to vote for his party and not for the other party of the right trying to win in Saxony. That other is called the Alternative for Germany, a far-right party shunned by the mainstream but supported by as many as one in four Saxons if the polls are accurate. Its message is stark drastically cut immigration, stress tradition and homeland, urge voters to reclaim their land and write a new chapter of history. It's clear, we want to be the strongest force in Saxony, our party in parliament. We want to beat the Christian Democrats, and I tell you, I think we can do it. This November will mark 30 years since the fall of the Berlin Wall, when people denied a voice by communism cried out for the freedom of speech. And yet now, the AFD is using reminders of the old East Germany to campaign on a slogan of Vollende die Wende, complete the changes. One analyst believes this represents a disillusionment among many East Germans over what the end of the Cold War brought them. Now if I feel well, I have to be quite careful. Uh, we have a very narrow channel of political correctness and if you uh, make uh, arguments uh, beyond this channel of political correctness, well, you're out of the game. And this is the feeling. Uh, we did not succeed in establishing that kind of democracy that we really wanted to have. When free elections returned here in 1990, the Christian Democrats won an absolute majority in Parliament on a promise to bring prosperity and openness. Now, fewer than one in three voters say they'll vote CDU and its leader faces an emboldened far-right alternative that wants him out. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, in Saxony.